Break sound. <laughs> and here we are again. Mm. Um, welcome to Unhinged Music Reactions Live. Uh, I have. I'm wearing a cool this shirt. shirt on. Yes, Church of the Cosmic Skull. These are. This is a band that I discovered from doing this show. We had reacted to two other songs of theirs in the past, and I got really into them. I mean, like deeply into them. Watched everything they've done, um, and I just love them. Uh, everything about them. They're they're kind of progressive rock, but then also very, um, I don't know, churchy in a way. You know, they've got these choir type vocals sometimes, and great guitar and keyboards. Everything wasn't that um, the one that was uh, Black Slug? Wasn't that yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Black Slug. That yeah. was one. So that was the. I think that was original. We thought, is it a shtick or not that they're, you know, doing the Manson eyes into the camera, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we were, you know, the very first reaction we did, we were like, uh, we're not sure if this is like well, a real cult. I know. It, it, it's very tongue in cheek, uh, but they do kind of treat it like they're a cult. Um, and it's it's just a very cool shtick, and their videos are very well produced. And well, that was um, our whole point that, that it was so well produced that they pulled it off. Where we're like, okay, they could be, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. squeaky from, yeah. right? Um, okay. But musically, they're awesome. Uh, so today I have uh, another song by them called "Evil in Your Eye." Uh, I love this song. It's it's a little dark, um, but musically it's amazing. Um, and the video is quite entertaining as well. Uh, so let's do that. All right, here we go. Church of the Cosmic Skull, Evil in Your Eye. ELO do that? That's <laughs> evil woman. Right.
nice bluesy licks here. You spent thirty dollars to get a shirt imported from, from another UK. country. Absolutely, he likes them. I like them a lot. Yo, <laughs> it's a, that's a lot of pressure you're putting on me. <laughs> to my best friend who gets this visceral reaction to this new music, this group. I know you love them. 
So I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, uh, hey, if you don't well, like think, it, that's uh, totally cool. I no, mean, I'm, I'm I, not, um, I don't expect everyone to like no, it. No, it's I, different. I, 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 I didn't say nothing yet. <laughs> no, I, uh, I probably just say the words you, that, that nobody wants to hear is that it's a nice little song. Um, <laughs> no, I, I love their vibe. I, I like that. It looks like, you know, like, like Manson's album, Garbage Dump and those songs. <laughs> oh, much um, better than that. I'm kidding, of course. You know, I, I like it. Uh, um, I, I like it like a like almost similar to the Rob Zombie, where uh, if that was in a movie, it would really have added to the mood and the suspense and the. But standalone song, I wouldn't put it on. Mm. But I I did enjoy it because uh, of the vibe, especially the fast part when it came in later. Yeah. Um, for some reason the beginning with the the keyboard chords that 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 it yeah. reminded me of that that early. I don't know why it gives me that seventies vibe, but it reminded me of that early Bon Jovi song. Remember that like first song? Uh, oh, um, she's a something, something, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever the she's a something. And it has that, those, those chords at the beginning. It reminded right. me of that. Then later on when it picks up, it was kind of like it was, uh, you know, Skinner or Boston, you know, right. Opening up. Uh, it's got the organ sounds, cool guitar sounds. Yeah, so musically, I like you know the instrumentation, but um, it's just not you know not great for me. But I think um, it was always like that. Like I thought they were cool, but it wasn't like what you were getting. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get that. Um, they're definitely an acquired taste. I think. Um, I just I got so deep into them that, like I said, I listened to everything, uh, entire albums, and they are just brilliant musicians. Um, and there's some other stuff that's very progressive um, and almost sounds like a, like a yes or something like that. Um, for example, there's a song called Is Satan Real? Uh, yeah, which I remember is, that one. Yeah, which is actually uh, their album. is One of their albums is Is Satan Real? And there's a part in it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this, 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 yeah. It just it, they just jam and yeah. I love that. Um, so uh, the the thing about evil in your eye that I really like is you know there's that contrast of that happy sort of keyboardy part and then the kind of somber slow part and then the choir type thing happening uh, and then that rocking part at the end. So it's it's changing a lot and I love that. Yeah. Uh, plus I don't know if you heard any of the lyrics. But he's basically talking about he, he, he wants to take you to the ocean so he can watch you as he holds his head, your head underwater and watch you die. Uh, <laughs> man after my own heart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm the lyric, the that's why I was saying this. It's a pretty dark song because he wants to, you know, hold someone underwater until they say to him, there's an evil in your eye, you know, and it's just, it's bizarre. But, um, it just for me, I, I especially at at first listen, I don't I don't give a shit about I don't I don't listen to the words at all. Yeah, I yeah, listen I to the changes yeah. and the singing and watching his third eye, <laughs> and, you know, because he can't help to. No, I'm not. Yeah. So the second and third, I would maybe listen to the lyrics, but that's not I don't I don't do that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it took I, me I, a few. I love the top listens. The, yeah, no, I, it took me a few listens to even uh listen to the lyrics to hear what they were saying and when i actually did i was like oh wow <laughs> doesn't necessarily match up with the music um with this well topic, that's why but... it's 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 again there's no argument here because um th- there's nothing negative i could say about them like they're they're cool the idea is cool you know i love horror and rock and 70s and you know throwback mm-hmm. stuff um, the only thing I'll take issue on is that when you describe it as brilliant musicians and what I was listening to, I was, I was wishing they were a little better so they could do more, um, more advanced playing and, you oh, know, no, progressive they... changes. And I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. Well, maybe not in the song, but believe me, they are. They're yeah, brilliant I, musicians. I, yeah, they really are. I've more. listened to every single thing they've put out, literally every song. Um, and they are quite amazing so- songwriting and musicianship 
Um, hey, you're the guy. If you tell, you know, I don't listen to many people who tell me, "Hey, check this out," and I'll actually, I'll go, "Yeah," and I won't. But you, yeah. I will definitely. If you're gonna like rave about it, I have to because I yeah, trust but, you. Yeah, but but don't. I mean, you know, we're two different people and we have different opinions. There are bands you like that I absolutely detest. Um, so <laughs> yeah, no question. Yeah, so, but this wasn't so one where fine. I was like, "Oh shit, I can't wait." I was really, I was, that's I was not enjoying puddles, it. Right? <laughs> no, not... no, no, and I, I, I enjoy it, but it. I'm not getting any of that that you're getting it, but I, but they get, that's why music is so, it's so personal because yeah. again, yeah, there's, or even one hit things or guilty pleasures where you get that one song for yeah. whatever reason, it could be the, that day and what you were feeling, what you were going through. So there's a lot of things. Yeah. So yeah. whatever is working for you, I can't, I got to sit oh, back. Of course. Because yeah. this guy's loving this and I just, I need to support you no matter what. Well, I mean, but you don't have you, you just be honest with uh, the way you, you know, whether you like or not like something. And that's all. That's what this reaction channel is about. Just your gut reaction yeah. to something. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I the way I'll leave it before you say uh, the way I'll leave it is the same thing as Black Suck is that I want to hear more. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It's yeah. not I didn't love it, but I, I it's it was enough to. Okay, let's see yeah. if they not, it's, once I listen to the whole album, then if it's not, it's not. It's definitely not one of the my top three songs by them, but they have very few full videos. Most of their stuff on YouTube is actually just the song with the album cover. Um, so for our channel, we like to show the actual videos a lot. Um, so rather than just do the audio, because some of their best stuff is audio only. They don't have any videos for it. Um, well, that's also... Uh sort of a dynamic with reaction channels that I notice. If if you're watching something like, you know, Groove is in the Heart, The Light, yeah. or, or yeah. you know, or just a lot of 80s videos, a lot of them are getting too caught up with watching what's going on in the video or sure. to the song. Yeah. It's like, I'm lost in the world. Well, they keep stopping it in the, like, this is the middle of a soul or whatever. So, um, and, but yet you, to do audio only, it's a little bit visually boring. So there's our, sure. you know. Yeah. But I, in this kind of a song or band or music, I'd rather listen to audio only so I can, mm -hmm. I don't want to get caught up in that. Sure. Well, and hey. Especially it's not relevant, you know. I think uh, people should comment and let us know, do you, do you think we should start doing some audio only stuff and not showing videos, just showing an album cover? Uh, because you're right. Sometimes the video can be distracting and not, and you don't really listen to the music as as deep as you would if you were literally just listening to the audio um well because they are even though they have a great concept and they have great videos really mm -hmm. they obviously spend the money yeah um so but they're more they're more musicians than say rob zombie mm -hmm. who is more visual and it needs right. to go with it really because exactly, yeah. there's not a lot of depth in the music yeah. you know but this there is and i want to hear the depth i want to hear the music so yeah. Again, it's that, you know, yeah. or seeing them live. I'd like to see a, a live performance. Of it yeah, yeah, definitely. Them. See yep. if they open up live and then it's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, there are a couple of live videos on YouTube, but they're really bad quality. They're like from taken from the audience type of view. So it sounds like crap. I'll um, check it on my own. We obviously don't want to have, you know, poor quality on here. So, yeah. well, and that's the thing. Yeah, that's why I picked the videos because they're the best produced. Um, and for visual interest, because if I did play, like I would love to listen to Is Satan Real? Um, because it's one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, but it's just, it would just be an album cover with us just hanging out, which, you know, maybe yeah. that's fine. There are a lot of reaction channels that do that, that yeah. don't actually play videos. They'll just have the album cover and they'll listen to the music. Um, so we can certainly do that in at, at times if uh, well that would be it, if you are yeah if we have listeners or regular reaction channel viewers yeah let us know what you know do you have what a do problem you, like you see yeah. visual do you need to see the video you know you have to yeah. expound on that in your own personal uh, taste yeah so all i have to say is that doing the show has uh really made me appreciate some newer music um to the point where i had created a, a playlist called unhinged discoveries uh which is basically songs and bands that uh that i've discovered on the show um and i put them all in a playlist so that i can listen to it whenever 
And right now, the majority of that playlist is Church of the Cosmic Skull uh, mm-hmm. with uh, with a bunch of Buckethead sprinkled in. Yeah. Um, and uh, a couple others as well, uh, just one-offs that, that we listen to. Um, so so for me, yeah, uh, this this has really opened my eyes to to looking at what's coming out now. And there are still people, like you said, they have a 70s vibe, and I love that about them. Um, yeah. It's not, you know, new. there is still good music coming out. You just have to find it. You have to dig for it. And it tends not to be the most popular stuff these days. But for us, you know, bluesy stuff, uh, well, this, things uh, with the, real the, instruments. The Flying V that uh, yeah. there's Bill, right? Bill From Fisher, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he ha- obviously has, uh, I don't know if he's a, is he primary songwriter in the band? I think he is. Um, and he's impression. also he's also the drummer in, right. in another band where the lead singer is one of the girls from Church of the Cosmic Skull, uh, one of the blonde singers. Uh, she's the lead singer in this other band where Bill Fisher is the drummer. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, do the others know about it? That's <laughs> why they, they all do. look so fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes. Um, I, I'm definitely more partial to this music than the other band. I listen to some of their stuff, and it's it's okay, but this is this is definitely more my, my bag. That 70s vibe, like you said. His flying V is pretty nice. It's... Uh, it's yeah. actually uh, painted to, to look like their videos with the rainbow, their logo, the Church of the Cosmic yeah. Skull yeah. Um, logo, and and he plays it in every video I think that I've seen. Um, yeah, unlike so your SGs, cool. the flying V's are quite light. Yes. Very yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah, and same configurations, you know, two humbuckers and uh, the three-way toggle, uh, classic this Gibson. Way you, can, you get to play between your legs. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought about getting a Flying V at one point. I don't know that it's not really me. And I already have the SG, which is pretty much... You should much have more of a sitting V, I think. A sitting... <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, anyway, if you like this, cool. hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified whenever we come out with new videos and whenever we go live. Check out more of the church. It's That's what this is about, so... yeah. And let us know what you think. I'm curious uh, if if it's just an anomaly that I love them so much, uh, or or are they really you know are they attracting lots of fans and stuff? You know, let us know what you guys think about yeah. them. We know and, what we want to know what you think, but ultimately, who gives a fuck? You like them, <laughs> that's right? I mean, really? I mean, if you like it, well, that's the thing. I like it. I'm going to keep listening to them. I'm going to keep listening to all the new stuff they come out with. Uh, which it's been There's a no while since it's all real button. instruments, so I'm all for it. I'm yeah. all for them. Absolutely. Yeah. They're doing all right. right. Until next time. Rock and roll.